good morning class so in the last lecture we have studied about the critical angle total internal reflection and rainbow formation okay so i hope you have understood these concepts so in the today's class we will study about the atmospheric refraction so we know that there is atmosphere around the earth which is denser than the vacuum so we can treat it as a denser medium so when light comes from vacuum to denser medium it bends okay so this phenomenon is called refraction so since this refraction is due to atmosphere we call it atmospheric refraction so due to this atmospheric refraction there are many phenomenon which happens daily okay like twinkling of stars advance sunrise and delayed sunset okay so this we will study in today's class okay so let us begin so atmospheric refraction a refraction through the earth's atmosphere is called atmospheric refraction okay so let this is earth and here you can see the atmosphere around the earth okay so the earth's atmosphere is about 480 kilometers thick so the thickness of our atmosphere is 480 kilometer but most of it is within 16 kilometer the surface means uh, mostly the earth atmosphere is 16 kilometer from the surface if we go above the earth the density will decrease so you can see the thickness of the atmosphere refractive index of earth's atmosphere is about 1.0003 so it is approximately 1 but it is not equal to 1 okay so its value is roughly 1.0003 means it is denser than the vacuum vacuum means no air but in atmosphere since there is air so its refractive index is 1.0003 okay so this is vacuum which is a rarer medium and this is atmosphere which is denser okay so let this is rarer and denser so suppose the light is coming from vacuum okay and it is incident on our atmosphere so we can draw a normal at the point of incidence so what will happen if there is no atmosphere the light ray should go like this but since there is atmosphere present around the earth and it is denser so light will go like this means light will bend towards the normal means bending of light will happen okay since we know that the density of earth atmosphere is not constant it is varying as we move towards the earth the density of the earth increases so let us visualize it suppose this is one interface this is another interface this is another and so on and the density of this medium is n1 this is n2 this is n3 and this is n4 suppose these are the layers of the atmosphere means as we go down towards the earth the density will increase means the density of n1 is lesser than the density of n2 and so on suppose light is incident at uh, the medium n1 okay so it should go like this okay but since there is change in medium so light will bend towards the normal like this similarly the refraction will happen in the layer n2 like this and so on you can see the light is bending at each layers okay so the resultant of light will go like this this is the path taken by the sunlight okay when it enters the earth earth's atmosphere okay so again see there are different layers around the earth so when light is incident it goes like this means at each layer there will be refraction okay so the resultant path will be like this so this is continuous refraction continuous refraction taking place due to several layers around the earth's atmosphere 
okay now the next phenomenon is advanced sunrise so what is advanced sunrise suppose we have a earth and there is atmosphere around the earth so suppose a man is standing on the earth and this is horizon for this man means below this horizon this man can't see anything above the horizon he can see okay so let us suppose the sun is below the horizon okay so theoretically this man cannot see the sun but when the light comes from sun enters in our earth atmosphere it bends now if light is reaching to the man means this man can see this sun so where he will see the sun at the line of sight okay so he will see the sun above the horizon so this is called advanced sunrise so when sun is below the horizon still we can see the sun due to refraction of light by our earth's atmosphere okay or we can see by atmospheric refraction we can see the sun okay so sun is below the horizon still we can see so we can see, this is the real position of sun but this is apparent position of sun because we cannot see the bending path of the light we can only see the object at the line of sight okay means if sun is below the horizon and if its light is reaching to our eyes then at which angle it is reaching so that line of sight we will see the sun so we will see that sun is above the horizon similarly for sunset when sun is below this is uh, horizon if sun is below the horizon okay so at the time of sunset when the uh, sun goes below the horizon still we can see the sun why because the light coming from the sun refracted by our earth's atmosphere and it reaches to our eyes okay so still we can see the sun okay so means before sunrise we can see the sun and after sunset we can also see the sun so that's why it is called advanced sunrise and delayed sunset okay so this is the real position of sun and this is the apparent position of sun next is the sun is visible to us 2 minute before the actual sunrise and 2 minute after the sunset so means before 2 minutes we can see the sun and after 2 minute we can also see the sun means we have extra 4 minute to look the sun due to our atmosphere if there is no atmosphere then there will be no refraction and we can see the exact position of sun but due to earth's atmosphere we can not see the actual position of sun due to refraction of light okay the density of air near the earth surface is slightly higher the rays from the sun coming through the space enters the top of the earth atmosphere and travel from rarer to denser medium that's why refraction happens so they bend slightly towards the normal at the each refraction and appears to come from the apparent position of sun okay so we see that it is coming from the apparent position but it is not coming from the apparent position it is coming from the actual position of sun which is below the horizon hence the sun appears to rise a few minutes before the actual rise and for the same reason it continues to be seen few minutes after it has actually set okay so we can see the sun before and after 2 minute now the next topic is twinkling of stars so why this twinkling happens let us study so let this is earth and this is the atmosphere around the earth this is star okay so the star light on entering earth's atmosphere undergoes refraction continuously before it reaches observer now first thing you have to keep in your mind like star is very very far from the earth okay so it is very far from earth so its size seems to be very small and the light coming from the star is too dim 
means less intense okay so light coming from stars entering earth's atmosphere undergo refraction undergoes refraction continuously before reaching observer okay so we cannot see the star at this place we will see star at the line of sight okay like this at this place we will see the star okay since the refract uh, refractive index of earth's atmosphere is gradually changing the atmosphere bend the starlight towards the normal and the apparent position of star is slightly higher than its actual position means its actual position is this but apparent position will be slightly higher okay why it is so due to refraction okay due to a refraction by earth's atmosphere okay as there is continuous variation in atmosphere the apparent position of the star and the intensity changes due to change in density that's why we see the star twinkling means the density of the atmosphere is keep on changing our atmosphere is dynamic okay sometimes the dense uh, this point density is higher and sometime density is low okay so due to this variation in density the light coming from star is in larger amount and sometime it is lesser amount why due to change in density of the atmosphere okay means at uh, density of atmosphere is changing that's why the intensity of the uh, light coming from star is keep on changing that's why we see they start twinkling okay so they are not actually twinkling but due to the atmospheric refraction it seems to be twinkling okay so this is the reason why star twinkles first stars are very far from us the light coming from stars is too dim okay and due to variation or change in density of earth's atmosphere the intensity of the light coming from star changes and we see the star twinkling okay so the position of star is little higher than its actual position this is also due to the earth's atmosphere now the question is we see the star twinkling but we can't see the planets twinkling so planets do not twinkle because the size of planet is relatively larger means actually the size of a star is larger but since the planets are nearer to us that's why we see the size of planet is larger okay so larger size means the high intensity of light okay so the, if there is high intensity of light so our eye can can't see the slight variation of the intensity of light coming from the planet okay that's why planet do not twinkle so this is all for today class okay i hope you have understood the concept behind the twinkling of stars at one sunrise and delayed sunset so this is all about the refraction of light due to earth's atmosphere or atmospheric refraction so these are the phenomenon uh, related to the atmospheric refraction i hope you have understood the advance sunrise and delayed sunset and the twinkling of stars these are the phenomena which is caused by the refraction of light okay so this is all about the atmospheric refraction in the next lecture we will study the scattering of light okay how light is scattered what is scattering and why the color of the sky is blue why the danger signals are made up of red color okay so these things we will learn in the next lecture so this is all for today thank you class